How are you guys? Let's try to draw this girl's difficult face using the Loomis method. First, we draw a circle in the upper middle of the paper, and this circle represents the beginning of the head from the top to the end of the upper jaw. If you want to get a proper circle, you must repeat drawing it more than once with successive light lines, and with repetition you will get a good result. Now we draw a vertical line in the middle of the circle tilted slightly to the right. This is called the line of the face elements, because it helps us draw the nose, mouth, and chin, and also helps to define the distance between the eyes. The next step, we start by defining the end of the eyebrow from the right and the left by drawing a curve that ends almost at the end of the eyebrow. And always remember that the possibility of an error in estimating measurements exists, and it is a natural thing for any artist. We all make mistakes while drawing, but in different proportions that may be large or small, depending on the artist's experience and the extent of his visual ability development. Now we draw a curve slightly below the middle of the circle, starting from the middle of the curve to the right and continuing to the middle of the other curve to the left. Then we set the borders for the nose line and the chin line, and the distance between the eyebrow line and the nose line is equal to the distance between the nose and the chin. Now we start drawing the lines of the lower jaw from the right and the left, starting from the chin line and reaching the middle of the oval to the right and left. And we must make sure to reach the same shape of the curves in the girl's chin so that we can finally get the same features. Now, after completing the definition of the basic lines of the face, we start defining the hair by drawing the outer line for it and also some internal details of the small tufts, but without exaggerating the details. I drew part of the hair and left the focus on drawing the facial elements because they are more important and require more effort and focus. Now we start drawing the right eyebrow, as you can see I left the distance between it and the vertical line that we drew at the beginning of the video, and the end of the eyebrow is at the curve to the right. And we follow the same steps in drawing the left eyebrow, leaving an appropriate distance between the eyebrows, then the end of the eyebrow is when touching the left curve. Here we define the beginnings of the nose in this way, to make sure that the nose will be in its proper place and not move to the right or left opposite to what is required. We also draw the lines of the eye sockets left and right, as they help to adjust the thickness of the nose. The nose rests on the line that we identified at the beginning of the video to draw the nose, and from here we make sure that our steps are correct so far. Then we start drawing the mouth, and the mouth is located in the middle of the distance between the nose and the chin, we start drawing the upper lip with a good focus on getting the same shape, and then we draw the line between the lips which is very important in showing the shape of the mouth, and if it differs from the normal, a big change may appear in it drawn character. Finally, we draw the lower lip line, which is a simple line and does not require any complication. And here I discovered a mistake in the right cheek that was too big, but it was easy to adjust and I made it smaller and fit. After we finished drawing the face and before we started drawing the eyes, I decided to complete the drawing of the hair to get the final shape of the drawn portrait character, as the hair helps a lot in showing the spirit of the character. Now we start drawing the right eye. I always prefer to start by drawing the line between the eyebrow and the upper eyelid. While drawing this line, I make sure to adjust the distance between it and the eyebrow accurately to avoid any problems in the position of the eye. After completing drawing this line in the right place, I start drawing the upper eyelid, then the lower eyelid, focusing on the inner eye space so that it is not too large or small. Then I draw the small line that's below the eye and put a little bit of shading here because it's basically a dark place. We repeat exactly the same steps in the left eye without any differences, and of course, do not forget to place the pupil of the eye, focusing on drawing it in the right place to get the same look. In the end, we apply shading in some dark areas to highlight the features of the portrait more, and also emphasize the lines of hair and shade it in a darker degree to make it more realistic. This is the final result of the portrait, and I hope you like it. Do not forget to join the Telegram channel to follow the reference photos for the educational lessons, and support the video by liking and sharing. I will be happy to answer your questions in the comments. I will see you in a new tutorial. Goodbye.